Okay, well, how's everybody doing today out there in the Javaverse? All right, what I have here today that's going to be going up for sale is the Fractal Torrent Mini Snow Edition White. This case itself comes with a 180 millimeter fan in the front of it with a filter. Another feature on here I really like is how the back of the case itself has all these little Velcro ties to hold everything right in place. It's really, really keeps it nice and neat. I imagine you could even add in some other ones because these do open up quite a bit. The top of the case has an individual 3.5 jack for a headset, a 3.5 jack for a microphone so you could use if you have one that needs that can go with a splitter or if you use an individual mic with an individual headset it would still work out fine for you this would be a great either game or a streamer rig nice nice clean system okay right in the middle it has a power button it also has two usb 3.0 a usb c and a restart button. The top of the case, you can grab it by the back right here, it just pops right off. Inside of here is an EVGA 750 watt no, um, supernova, yeah, power supply. All the cables attached to the power supply are Asia Haas sleeved red and white cables. They're the newer upgraded cables. I think they're 18 gauge. And the cable guides have changed from the standard plastic type. They added something, they're a little bit heavier heavier, a little bit thicker. They're still flexible, but it says Asia Haas on them. I just think they really look nice. We'll get down to the guts. The motherboard itself is a Gigabyte Aorus Pro Wi-Fi X570. I've installed a one terabyte M.2 NVMe. I think it's a PNY. Could be a Samsung, but maybe a PNY. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAMs. The graphics card, obviously you can see it's a EVG idiot. RTX 3080 FTW3. I run out of breath with these names. I have all of it. The CPU is all water cooled. I used a thermal take copper 120 millimeter radiator on the back with a 120 millimeter fan exhaust out exhaust in from the front is also opening on the bottom where the graphics card has lots of room to pull in air to keep it cool. Really, really nice system. I've benchmarked it, I've tested temps on it, even with the side panel on it, it runs smooth as can be. Speaking of the side panels, they all pop off, but I wouldn't just leave them without, there's some safety screws that go on the top. On each side, there's just a little tiny, like type of screw you use on a motherboard. There's one on each side holding the panels on. They come on and off really quick and easy, so it's great to have. So I think memory, CPU, power supply, I think I pretty much covered all the bases. Anyways, the rest of the description will be in the listing, and feel free to contact me. I'll be putting up another one next week. So everybody take care.